Hey guys, Ewan here, and let's go ahead and check what is up in our beloved bodybuilding world. And right here, you're looking at Kai Green's Instagram page. As you can see, out of his six last posts, five of them are about bodybuilding. Now, what is up with that? Is he making a comeback? Is he gonna compete this year? The question is, is he gonna compete at the Mr. Olympia? That's like the number one question that everybody is wondering. Or is he gonna compete in that new show that The Rock is making? And we're gonna talk about that in this video as well. However, in all likeliness, he's not gonna do either of those two things. I think, the way it seems to me, is that Kai just needs money. I think his business is not doing great, and he's trying to sell his workout plans, his books or whatever, as you can see right here, he has his ebooks and he's trying probably to sell those. So yeah, that's what it seems to me. I think he's just trying to earn some money, you know. I don't think he has any movie contracts right now and Mr. Olympia is coming up. Everybody's hyped about bodybuilding and he's using the opportunity to earn some money for himself. I would love that not to be the case. I would love to see him back on the stage. Every bodybuilding fan would because he has one of the most impressive physiques of all time. But after a couple of years of expecting him and speculating about this and not seeing him on a stage again, maybe we should just give up on him. But I think not yet. Not just yet. He is still in very good shape. It's been only three years since he competed last. And the way he looked in 2016 is better than any bodybuilder competitive this year is looking. So if he came back this year at Mr. Olympia, I think he would win the show. It would be hard against Brandon, but I think he would end up victorious. He made this post, for example, in which he's talking about his back, how he developed it. And uh, it's all to make you think that he's passionate about bodybuilding again. Maybe he is. Maybe he got his passion back. And maybe we're going to see him at the Mr. Olympia. However, maybe he's just trying to hype us, to make us make video about him, to make us think about him so he can have more views on his Instagram page and then therefore sell more ebooks or workout programs or diet plans or whatever, just earn more money. But I wouldn't be making this video if his coach, George Farah, didn't talk about Kai Green coming back. In an interview with Muscular Development, George Farah said that Kai is still very passionate about bodybuilding and that he thinks that Kai will come back and compete again. He did not make an official announcement, but if it comes from his coach, who is telling us that Kai will compete again, I think that's something to make a video about. And I think the chances of seeing Kai compete again, maybe not at the Mr. Olympia stage, but maybe at this new show that The Rock is making with bigger prize money, I think the chances of seeing Kai Green on the stage once again are really high. So let's hope for the best. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Anyways, let's move on to bodybuilders who are actually straightforward and honest about their goals and plans and who are not trying to deceive us or to give us puzzles to solve. For example, this guy right here, Juan Morel. A couple of days ago, I made a video that was a prediction for Mr. Olympia 2019, and I totally forgot about Juan Morel. A while ago, when he won that South Africa Arnold Classic and after he won New York Pro, I made a video about him saying that he may crack the top six at the Mr. Olympia. And I still do stand behind that. I think he actually has a very good chance to take that sixth place. His legs are his biggest weakness and it's a really, really flaring weakness. But his upper body is so full, so thick. There is a lot of muscle on it. Look at the fullness. This is four weeks out. And look at the vascularity. Conditioning is not a problem for this guy, nor it is density and thickness of his upper body. His only problem is the size of his quads. And that's about it. But his back is just insane. And with this, one of the best backs in the world right now, he has a legitimate chance to crack the top six. I think his chances are probably bigger than those of Steve Kuklo, for example. Maybe even John De La Rosa. Probably even John De La Rosa. John is more complete, but he's not as freaky in his upper body like Juan Morel. Completeness is very important, but just like you had in the 90s, Dorian Yates, who was winning shows based on his couple of freaky body parts, I think we can see that once again with many other bodybuilders. You could make an argument that that can happen with this guy right here, Ahmad Ashkenani, who is probably going to be the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia 212. 
I honestly don't see anybody who can challenge Derek Lansford at this point, aside from this New York Pro 2019 champion, Ahmad Ashkanani. He's back. He's one of the best backs in the history of the world. I think you can say that. It's a really, really good back. But again, just like with Juan Morel, his legs are not that good. And the thing is, you have uh, Derek Lansford with an amazing back as well. So what Derek is going to have on Ahmad is legs. And that's why I don't think Ahmad can place any higher than second place. Now let's go back to Open. And as I mentioned before, John De La Rosa is somebody who is probably going to challenge guys like Juan Morel. Now you can see him right here at four weeks out. He looks very full, but that's what he's known for. He has those long and freaky full muscle bellies. What he's not known for is conditioning. He brought it this year, and so he won two pro shows, Toronto Pro and Puerto Rico Pro, qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and he can actually crack the top six if he brings that conditioning once again. And I think he has the biggest chances to be sixth place if he brings conditioning. So that's a big if. He is not consistent bodybuilder. He's not known for having great conditioning. But since the door is that wide open this year, the lineup is so depleted, him cracking top six or top five would be like the, his biggest achievement in his whole, whole career. He knows that very well, and I think he will try his best. He's gonna battle against Juan Morel probably with that freaky back of his. And, for example, this guy right here, Steve Kuklo, who doesn't really have any super impressive body parts, but he is very complete. He has that completeness. He's also very big. And he knows how to come conditioned. He knows how to come conditioned, but he does not have those super deep separations. He doesn't have super live muscle. His body is kind of dead. But he gets sharp and his skin looks very tight. He's very vascular all over his physique and he has a chance to crack the top six as well. Very big chance. Now back to a little bit less relevant topics. Regan Grimes, who is 12 weeks out of Romania Pro, looks like this. So as you can see, he gained. He gained some muscle. He is huge right now. He's very big. He's trying to win Romania Pro. If he wins Romania Pro, which is a huge show, he will qualify for the Mr. Olympia. That's right, 2020 Mr. Olympia, which is going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be an amazing show. And Regan's chances to actually win Romania Pro are actually quite big. He is huge. He's huge right now. He definitely gained a lot of muscle. He just needs to come sharp and bring the perfect presentation because he has the symmetry, he has the completeness, the freakiness, every single thing is there. For such a young guy, he is amazing and I think he can actually win Romania Pro. Yesterday, I made a video about uh, classic physique competitors. I mentioned the Russian Akbar taking probably top 5, top 4 places in the Mr. Olympia. But I did not see this physique update. He just uploaded a photo of his legs. And his legs are definitely looking bigger. The outdoor sweep is definitely bigger. And <laughs> veiny as hell. Veiny as hell. So he's bringing conditioning, that's for sure. At this point, you can see it. You can see it. He's peeled at four weeks out. And he's bringing better legs. I just hope he's bringing better back as well. That's his weakness as well. But his stomach is definitely not looking super aesthetic. At least not on this photo. It looks kind of like... I don't want to say the word, but yeah, bubble gut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's a classic physique guy. He's not going to have a bubble gut, but he doesn't have the most aesthetically pleasing stomach. That's for sure. He is well aware of that. And that's why he's training his abs a lot in this prep. And his abs are not the most developed abs ever, but they are very symmetrical. And uh, he just needs to flex them a little bit harder while he's posing so his stomach doesn't pop out at all. Because this is classic. It shouldn't be allowed not even not even like in the backstage or in transitions no way that's classic it's not open it's not all about size it's about those lines anyways i love rush's physique and love his personality as well but i need to be honest about my criticism we also have the legend of bodybuilding the person who made the bodybuilding what it is today somebody who had the biggest probably the biggest influence in the bodybuilding world ever him, Joe Weider, and a couple of other guys are responsible for making bodybuilding what it is today. And here you can see him training his back. And this was after he got kicked by that guy in South Africa. Arnold is strong. Arnold is still strong at the age of 71. I really appreciate him so much and I wish him all the best. 
And for the end of this video, we're gonna read what Rock says about his pro show. He says, appreciate this man, we haven't even made the announcement yet, but the early buzz is nice. I'm pumped, see you there. He replied to this comment about his new show. So as you can see right here, the show is happening. The show is happening and I am personally looking forward to it very, very much. I cannot wait to see how many bodybuilders are gonna show up there. It's gonna be an IBB Pro show. It's gonna be bigger money price than Mr. Olympia, that's what they say, but it's probably not gonna be more important show than Mr. Olympia. IBB president Jim Mannion says that Mr. Olympia is always going to be the number one show. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye bye.